Hello, and welcome to Press Any Button on Late Game Night. Hello, and press any button. Feel okay. free at any time, especially the like one and the subscribe one. Uh, yeah, the yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. Def definitely press the subscribe if button, any button, the bell press, button, it's those ones, the the like button. I'm not sure if the comment section is a button itself, but yes, leave comments as yeah, well. Leave, leave comment. I don't even care if it's negative or not. At this point, just just don't uh, just post don't any spam to links. Yeah, spam stuff. I'm so tired of spam comments. One, one thing I've noticed with our uh, uh, destroy all human videos. Uh -huh. So, uh, I think an episode before my sad PS5 story, mm -hmm. uh -huh. like uh, some like someone commented saying like, "Man." I love uh, Destroy All Humans, and then Destroy All Humans uh, 2 Probe just come to PS5 later this year, and then I just replied saying like, uh, speaking of PS, well if you like our Destroy, our Destroy All Human videos, uh -huh. and like PS5s, you mm -hmm. should watch the, ne the next episode where I talk about a sad story, mm -hmm. and then one of our last videos of that game uh, premiered uh, the other night, and that same person who, like, the profile picture is, like, an Asian lady mm -hmm. uh, with the name, posted the exact same comment. There's a fly down here. Yeah, there's a fly. Who the... Who the... Who let that thing in? Just say, while you're, while you're starting this, I'm going to kill that fly. Really? You, you don't want me to press any button yet? I'll press the button. I'm going to kill a fly. Oh, but you're going to miss out the the, the cutscene, the opening cutscene. All right, I'm going to watch Get it. some exposition. But if I see the fly, it's going to be a dead fly. Yeah. So anyway, like yeah, that comment was the exact same as one before. It was a, it was a spam comment. Yeah, you so, know, you know, you've made it when you get like a ton of bot comments. Like on well, Instagram, well, you well, well, I guess, I, I guess this was more of a bot comment because uh -huh. like they didn't leave like a link or anything. Mm. Which, which I mean, that's not bad. But there have been like comments in the past where like they leave like uh, short URLs uh -huh. that yeah. uh, I'm assuming they take you to. Uh, uh, the dark parts of the internet, shall we say. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna press a button now. Oh! Oh yeah! Uh, side note. So, we have also access to Torna, the golden country. The golden country. Which, which is, which basically, uh, is a game of itself. Interesting. So, like... Is it like an expansion? Uh, somewhat. It's completely different story. Okay. And this DLC is big enough that it has its own physical copy of the game. That's crazy. Yeah, that's some crazy. DLC but we're, we're gonna we're gonna play Xenoblade Chronicles two because a third one has been announced recently, and uh, Ezra and I played a little bit of Xenoblade Chronicles X, so may as well get some Xenoblade or Xeno Gears, whatever saga this is, like those types of videos out. Get start the a new game. Shit. Um, I have beaten this game before on normal difficulty. Nice. There was, there was like, no easy difficulty. Like, this was part of uh, an update at some oh, point. Oh, I gotcha. So, I could do normal. Just go normal. You can change the difficulty settings anytime. Okay, that's a nice option. Sweet. Here we go. Fly's gone. Dude, I hate flies. <laughs> like, okay. So, uh, I hate having flies around anywhere. Like, in a car... I've almost crashed my car trying to kill a fly. Really? Yes. Dead uh, that, serious. Dead like, have you rolled serious. down both of your windows and the oh, fly no. just never okay. bothers to so get out? A, all right, ladies and gentlemen, here's how much I freaking hate flies. Okay, I don't give a little son of a bitch a chance to get escape. I pull my hat off and I don't roll my windows down. I wait for it to come up and I kill it. The fly has to die. I'm not letting it go free to go and infect someone else's car. That fly is dead. Mm. D-E-A-D. D-E-D, -E what, what is that from? D-E-D, -E dead. That's from a Disney movie. Is it? Is that from uh, Hercules? If it was, then who said it? I thought it was Hades. D-E-D, -E -D No, I, I, I think... And then, he, like, like, Pain and Panic kind of look at each other like, okay, well, like, what the hell? No, maybe, I, I, maybe, I, th I think Hades is capable of spelling. I think he is. Oh, it's from a Disney movie, though. Uh, I, I would have to say it would be, like, some kind of... Dumb character. Yeah. Gosh, that's gonna bug me now. I can't even think. Yeah, you might be what the hell. Right. I, I I can't remember either. Okay. 
So there, there's this guy. He's like, so, so yeah, this scenario. Is all, oh, oh, uh, I was gonna say, oh, is this gonna describe the scenario? Like, what's going on? Oh no, no, that, that's say, that's like, uh, like, what kind of like? No, this, this, this it's a uh, op- opening what? credits. Nice. Uh, okay, that's that's interesting. You got this guy with some cleats. Okay, uh, may, may I just say, bones. with this character in particular, uh-huh. the voice acting is um, maybe not the best. Is it like dubbed? From Japanese. Oh yeah, yeah, this, uh, yeah. Obviously, we're playing an English dub of this game, but oh, uh, it, I, I, I would say most commonly, it's uh, his uh, his screams. <laughs> he's like, like, like his his mouth is closed. Like, <laughs> no, no, it's like, <laughs> like, uh, like screaming in effort. <laughs> you know, like he's charging at you with attacks, like. Ah! You know, it's just, so like, it's just like really like prolonged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you, you, funny. You, you, <laughs> we we may have the TV audio low, but uh, you 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 you'll you'll know. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. Otherwise, uh, to the best of my memory, when I played this game when it first came out, um, it's Sora. Look at the pants. He is wearing baggy pants. He is wearing baggy pants. Uh, Are but, there an abundance of zippers on the pants? What about chains? They're, 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 there might there might be. I don't know. It, it's I feel like that's it's been a while since people think that Americans dress. Okay. I really think that's the thing. Now I, I may if you're Japanese, <laughs> please even comment down below and tell me if I'm wrong. All right. Let me just say uh, we, we've Holocaust played is. Xenoblade Chronicles X uh, recently, and I've said that I've never beaten the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, I have beaten this game uh, from start to finish. At least he needs to give a new depth probe. That means two things. What? Especially after the destroyal humans comments there. And what about Tanner, I'm seeing a lot of buckles and straps. Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed buckles solid. and straps. Didn't even have to well, he's a... Uh, he's a... Uh, what? A... Uh, uh, salvager? I feel like he would take his helmet completely off instead of just like carrying it around everywhere. Oh shit, what's this? Uh, it's Gramps. Ooh. By the way, this I is, am the king of red dragons. By the by the way, this is literally like a stage in Smash Brothers with the Pyre and Mithra oh, DLC. Yeah. Goes a long way. Alright. Oh. What the shit? Oh wow. Apparently a monster was in that treasure chest. Oh. And Q tutorial. Okay. Oh, he's not gonna use uh, the crowbar? I feel like the okay. crowbar would more than do that thing in. But they wanna just use a blade. Okay. Like beating, beating a lobster, beating the shit out of a lobster. At, at, a at least it would break the from, shell. That's true. Beating the shit out of a, cr- of a lobster with a uh, crowbar is kinda. All right. Time to earn your lunch. To initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. To draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting an enemy to display the target. Just press R. Uh, you can tell which enemy you are targeting by the target marker displayed above its head. Incidentally, you can also sheath your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's as simple as holding down R and pressing B. If you approach the target enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that, then it's time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. But I don't have any butter or garlic. Only way to eat. Shelf. Well, you, you, uh, you got apparently kill the thing. I, I'd rather eat something dead than eat something alive. I'd eat it alive. Okay. Well, that's it's still right. No, I'm just kidding. That's dark. No, I wouldn't yeah, do that. Yeah, don't. Uh-uh. Auto attacks are delivered in excess of three. The attack power increases with each blow. Ha! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, take a look at the icons in the lower right of the screen. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Uh, arts are special techniques distinct from auto attacks. The icons are laid out like the controller buttons, so just press a corresponding button to use one, which is very nice. Okay. After using an art, you'll have to wait until the recharge gauge surrounding the icon is refilled before you can use it again. The recharge gauge will refill as you auto attack enemies. Try pressing X now to let rip with Rex's anchor shot. Anchor shot. Then we just dropped something. This is an item called an HP potion. <sighs> Lengthy tutorial, wouldn't you say? Yeah. 
Maneuver Rex to the HP potion to pick it up. It'll restore some of its HP. Uh, some arts, like Anger Shot, will always cause the enemy to drop an HP potion. Should you use your arts immediately to deal serious damage or save them for when you need bonuses like the HP boost? Consider your arts tactics carefully. Yeah. Oh, he had some money, too. Not only did you freaking murder him, you also stole his wallet. His little crab wallet. He was saving some money for his little crab kids to go to college. I don't give a fuck about his family. About <laughs> kids. Oh. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, 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 you, you said that, you yeah, on the, said that recently. <laughs> yeah, on uh, just on memes. I love it when memes say that. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> it's so good. Video, video unofficially brought to you by Coke and Rockstar. And Manscaped, I guess? And Manscaped. Tanner. Yeah, I uh, I ordered... It, well, not really officially brought to you by Manscaped. Oh, okay, no. Right. You know, no, no. Guys, they're they're not... Come on. Uh, they haven't paid us to talk about it. No. I just, like, decided to uh, buy the performance package. Nice. <laughs> that means two things. You bought the performance package to make your package perform. <laughs> Okay, that's one. The other thing is that, like, <laughs> I uh, can uh, go on about my day much better than usual. Nice, nice. Uh, so, so one, you know, it includes, like, the, the lawnmower. Nice. And uh, it, it also came with, like, uh, a bunch of newspapers that's, like, all about oh, Manscaped. That that's funny. Well, yeah, but also, like, you use, you use each sheet of newspaper that they mm. sent, like, uh, as a... Uh, a mat, so they call it the magic mat. That's funny. So like to catch your stuff. Yes, yeah. So I, I would stand on top of it. Nice. And uh, just mow the lawn. And nice. like as their their website says, do you really think that the bush should be taller than the tree? Good point. Yeah. No. Nope. Should not. That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, and also like uh, uh not only it included like one pair of uh, their boxers, uh -huh. but as soon as I uh, bought my uh, package, like... Uh, that means two things. <laughs> after I have made my initial purchase, nice. uh, they, like uh, another page popped up saying like, hey, uh, within the next 10 minutes, you can get three more uh, boxers for half price. So, Not bad. yeah. Take that deal. That's badass, dude. Nice. Yeah. And so let glowing, me tell you, the glowing endorsement the, the, from Manscaped. The, the, uh, the, the only downside I would say about the boxers is that um, uh, I'm not able to use uh, the urinal in public restrooms. Really? It, it's like... Does yeah, it not have a flap? No, it doesn't have a flap. What? Apparently not. I don't know how I feel about that. You need to have your flap. It's I, a trap door. I, I anticipated that there would be a flap, but there's there not. Be. Always. But I think uh, it's more designed for comfort. I see. Okay, so more support. Yeah, more okay. support. If anyone was living there. I mean, like, haven't, haven't there been, like, days where, like, uh, you know, you go to the urinal, uh, you, you whip it out, and then you do your business. Yeah. And then, like, does it, like, uh, do you ever get your dick, like, snagged in your pants sometimes? Mm-hmm. At least yeah. by the zippers? At least, at least once a year, I think I zip myself in my zipper. Yeah. Probably once a year, like, like if anything. Like, as like, you're just trying to months. shove it back down in there. Well, like, you're <laughs> trying to do it, or you're, like, in a hurry, and you're, like, and then, like, even if it's there, it's still kind of out a little bit, and you go, and you, like, zip it, like, oh! Yeah, especially, like, uh, during winter where, like, you know. You got layers. Yeah, so, you know, you got my layers. right regular underwear, and then, like, especially in winter, I'm wearing like bottom thermals, uh -huh. so that's another layer. Yep. And then I got my pants, so really it's three layers. I have to, have uh, to whip it out and then shove it back in. Exactly. Right? You're smothering that thing, Tanner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, I kid those... you not, when I when I uh, I uh, mowed the lawn, oh boy, it's like I feel like I can breathe. That's awesome. It's like, it's like your dick's like. <laughs> 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 Fuck! <laughs> I can breathe for the first time in 14 years. I can breathe 
and I'm not strangled oh my by God. my own pubes. Oh my <laughs> it's like, is that, is this sunlight? <laughs> is this air? <laughs> Oh uh, my goodness, oh, that's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> There's like little thin critters and shit. <laughs> what, what, little thin critters just like, <laughs> they're like li li living in my little forest down there? <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh. or, or better, uh, living in my uh, 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 bushes yes. <laughs> as tall as uh, my tree. You got, you got some eagle in there. <laughs> <laughs> get out of there! Oh my gosh, get the <laughs> Oh. Oh my gosh, that's freaking spectacular! Thank you, man. Okay, uh, all you. right. So, oh, gosh. May, may, may have gotten sidetracked from the plot. One hundred percent. Okay, did. there was like so, this so, giant thing. Okay, so Gramps that we're uh, <laughs> living on is considered as a titan. Okay, and uh, he, uh, comparing to all the other titans across mm -hmm. the sea of the Cloud Sea of Allrest, uh -huh. there are other titans that uh -huh. are like more massive. That's basically like their own little world, and there are like villages or cities. Okay. On them or in them. Okay. And, uh... Sentient cities. I like it. Uh, basically, like, cities with, uh... Like, on top of these giant monsters or something. So, are they in the ocean or are they on in the sky? Because there was clouds there, and then he was underwater. Uh, but to the best of my memory, uh, the clouds. Like, the clouds are so dense that you can actually swim on them. Oh, okay, okay. I see where you're at. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, sense. uh... Uh, what the hell is that guy? Oh. And then over time, uh, the Titans have mm -hmm. uh, started started to die, basically. Oh. So it means that there's like less and less mm -hmm. quote unquote land yeah, for to people live. to live on. I see. And there's that bloated motherfucker that's like just floating there in the air. Alright, so this is it Rex. Alright, so this place is the uh What was the name of this place? Argentem Trade Guild? Trade guild. Okay. So, so this is where basically it's a mall. Cool. Yeah. Cool. You know I can't do credit. Gramps is like, I'm not talking to you. All right, Gramps. So why is Gramps so small? Why is he Gramps? Is he just old? Uh, he he is old. For okay. sure. That's a nice ship. This thing's huge. It's not even a Titan ship. Just gonna Please. stare over there awkwardly. <laughs> like, like a mom and her kids walk by. They're like, don't look at him, dear. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 don't make eye contact. He's gonna ask you for something. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like our adventure is about to really get going, and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. Who's me? Who? Uh, is the that Gramps. The game? I think so. Maybe. <gasps> Thanks, game. Uh, when you close this tutorial screen, you'll see Goldmouth Return Port pop the up on the that screen. Thing over there, like a tutorial or something. Uh, oh, the little dun, dude walking by. Dun, okay, so dun, dun, because uh, dun, dun. Be okay because we have died uh, too soon at the very end of our uh, playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles X. Uh -huh. So if uh, we had won that battle, uh -huh. I think there would have been a cutscene where we uh, meet one of these uh, little dudes. Oh, nice! And uh, they're known as No Pawn. Okay. And uh, they uh, talk like Dobby. From uh, Harry Potter. Master has brought to Dobby with a sock. <laughs> so yeah, they, they they basically talk in third person. Oh, nice! I love that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you close the tutorial screen, you'll see Golden Mouth Return Port pop up on the screen. It's letting you know you found a landmark. When you've discovered a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel or fast travel. I will name you Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo has to go. I'll fix something with his big wrench. Bilbo has a big wrench. Big big wrench. Uh, at any time. If you're defeated in battle, you'll be returned to the last landmark that you visited. Allrest has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, uh, press left, up, or right to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme. I'm Bimbo. Here I come again. I showed up wait, again. Wait, did he just walk back towards me and then walk back no, again? No, he just like showed up there. Or is he walking in circles? What is Bimbo? Here I come. I'm going to go hide in the ladies' dressing room. Okay, uh, left this is for battle controls, camera controls. Sometimes I get caught, but that's okay because I am. Okay. Alright. 
So can you hit one of them with your sword, or mm. kick one of them? Uh, no. Ah. Hi there. Why are you wearing a helmet? You're not underwater. Nobody's just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. Argentum. I keep saying the central exchange is inside Goldmouth just after you enter the ship, but he just doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to Lemoore Inn on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. That looks like freaking Baby Yoda right there. The green one. The way is there? My name is Grobu. Is there a way I can, like, look in first person view? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, well, here's a map. Well, that's nice. Uh, can I... Is there a way I can look in first-person view? Hey, there's lore and enemy. Up on the on the D-pad, maybe? Wait, camera control? Oh, wait, no, I didn't want to talk to you again. No. Camera controls. Uh, let's see. Offsets, camera right, offset, camera... Return, camera to center. Change camera height and distance. Reset camera. Okay, maybe I could do... Oh, I, I could still move while I have nice. this up. I guess it is uh, Souls-esque. I think so. Um, okay, so... No pause button for you. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There you go. Oh. Hello, Grogu. Hello. Hello. Grogu has come to the store. Grogu has come to the store. Ah, uh, wait, what was that? I have hair that can sometimes grab ladies' fannies. <laughs> like, look at that. It's like, I am going to grow up literally everybody. Like, that's what I'm seeing with this freaking hair. Oh, look at that. Okay, um, uh, moving on. Oh, pff, okay. Someone's uh, getting their dick grab. Just kidding. <laughs> Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First up, I'll explain the regular oh, view. We just went over this. Uh, see what the arrow is pointing at right now? Uh, that's a compass. The mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading in. The digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. If Rex's destination is higher than his current position, then you'll see a little uh, arrow above the marker. Conversely, if it's uh, at a lower altitude than Rex's current position, then the arrow will be displayed below the mark. Uh, next up, let's take a look around the environmental information uh, that the arrow mark is pointing to the right now. So it's like time of day and weather in minimap clock. Uh, yep, weather, time of day. Minimap, very nice. Yellow marker in the middle indicates uh, Rex's position. Uh, push L to switch between a full screen or a minimap view. Oh, ah, yeah. okay. Uh, convent adventurers might prefer to make their way through all this without using the minimap. Uh, lastly, we have the current objective, as you might expect. This tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle its visibility with ZR, so take a look if you're ever unsure what to do next. Right now, it's telling you to go and pay a visit to uh, Melilo at the Central Exchange, so try doing that. Okay. Ah, okay, so I could toggle my maps like this. So, there's like no map, mini map, actual map. And then it zoomed in on the map. Okay. So oh, that's nice. Good to know. I like having it over like over the I'm screen right. for a bit. That way you kinda know which way you're going. Hello. 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 Manolo is nice to meet you. It's it's nice. Oh yeah, they also say meh a lot. It's like meh. If you bring meh. <laughs> they say it threateningly. Meh. Or like happily. Well, what friends think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. Stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. Two hundred no, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village is right. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's cause Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey hey. All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. Hello. <laughs> Cockney English. Hello, I'm Mr. Frog. Hey. Yes? 
Get out. <laughs> now. Uh, smiling Friends reference. Oh, nice. nice. All right, uh, you got 200 gold. Oh, uh, you can buy anything. Let's see, explore <laughs> Argentem. Oh, by just taking a few steps forward. Hello, Rex. The Pune. Been a while. Rex looking high spirits? I uh, know. How safe? Yes. Peppy. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Meh, meh, meh. Ah, by the way. Rex come from Fonset Village in Lethirian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The hmm. Chairman. For me. This, like, little dude's got, like, two big bodyguards. It's like, um... Like, Mr. Puppinin. We love him. Uh, we only just met him like five minutes ago, and if anything happens to him, I'll kill everyone in the room and then myself. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen that th that meme? I haven't, but that's funny. <laughs> really? It's it's just like, uh, it's just like this person who is like uh, holding uh, like this said mm -hmm. pure or wholesome character or something. Mm -hmm. It's like if anything happens to them, I'll kill everyone in the room and then myself. Okay, I think I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. That. Oh, hold up a second, I forgot. You should probably explain how to control the camera. The camera has two modes, manual and auto. To use manual mode, just use right stick to point at the camera, to point the camera in whatever direction you like. If you press R, uh, the right stick while the camera's in manual mode, the camera will hone in on Rex's back and follow him around. This is what we call auto mode. You can also adjust the camera's height and zoom, hold down L, and move left and right to adjust uh, camera height, or up and down to adjust zoom. <clears throat> If you experiment with the different camera angles, then you might be able to spot a few things then you might otherwise have missed, so give it a try. Oh. Ah, I mean, this is fine right now. Uh, so that goes... Uh, yes, right here. I'm gonna go talk to Chairman Banna. Talk to the... We need to talk to the Chairman... Hello. Oh, hello. Got a couple good reasons to come into this room. Just teensy weensy. Ah, you talk third person like I do. One hundred thousand gold. Hmm. Actually, <clears throat> just the advance. Mm. Another one hundred thousand provided upon completing the job. Two hundred thousand gold in total. I, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. <laughs> he doesn't even care what it is. <laughs> He's like, you know what? It's worth it. Bana wants Rex to suck my dick. <laughs> have you seen? Uh, have you seen uh, those memes where it's like? Uh, it's like, would you stab your friend in the leg for a million dollars? And it's like, of course I would. <laughs> then uh, Tell me someone who won't. Then uh, you would use some of that money to uh, help uh, pay for a medical... Yeah, um, I'll cover perfect. the medical and I'll give him $100,000. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. See what you're looking at there, Rex. Okay. Okay. Hey, where the fuck is that music? Where the the, you know, it's a da 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 da. No, it's just quiet. were some current shades it showed up in an uncharted area but it's a long way down nice i like a good challenge banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job but this crew very picky they want small elite team and only from the theory that's when banner nice. a stroke of genius should hire rex 
<laughs> you made the right choice. He doesn't even care what it is. It could be like a bucket full of like plague and uh, like probably AIDS and shit. And they're like, just to get 200,000 bucks. <laughs> That's a good, okay. So here, that, that brings up a good question. Okay. Would you get AIDS for a million dollars? Right. That's the question. Would you? Especially nowadays, right? AIDS, as far as a deadly disease goes, not as deadly as it was in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Lots of different treatments for it. Fairly reasonable pricing to, to not not uh, cure it, but you know to manage it. Right. How many? How much money would it take for someone to just give you AIDS? Well, that I don't know. Like, if there was like <clears throat> some kind of government study where they're like, "Hey, we're testing this experimental cure for AIDS, but we don't have enough AIDS people wanting to do it. <laughs> we will give you a mi five million dollars to get AIDS." to try this experimental drug to like cure your AIDS. Would you do it for five mil? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. <sighs> I want to be healthy though. Sign right. me the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> I think honestly three mil is probably my minimum though. Right enough. Three, for that. three million? Three mil for AIDS? Like I think so. I think so, especially in that context where like there's a potential of you being cured but you're just trying an experimental you drug for it. Right. That was his idea of playtime. Yep. I I think I might just pass it regardless. I'll give you that. Guts too. Three million dollars, dude. I, I it sounds tempting. It sounds tempting. Three million dollars. So think about it this way. Let's say it's after tax too. Since it's a government job, tax free. Mm -hmm. Okay. One you can live very comfortably off of one hundred thousand dollars a year. Easily. Right? You have thirty of those. And, and what, we're just talking about like having enough money to rent a place or something or? Having enough money, you would have enough money to buy a very nice house mm -hmm. actually and then live 25 years in that house. But then you never have to pay a mortgage either. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, dude. AIDS nice? You got it. But still, you have to go through the hassle of living with AIDS. Yeah, there's treatments and you have insurance. You keep your job, you know, benefits, all that stuff. Now, what if the government said they would cover your medical stuff? That would be nice. Okay, you don't have to pay for your treatment. I mean, it's, it's a gray area. I'd say three million is my, my minimum. I still don't know how I feel about that, though. I mean, I, I just, I just, uh... Barbara would eject me with AIDS for 250k, but, like, I'm like, just kidding. Barbara would? <laughs> well, if someone paid her, like, $250,000, she's like, okay. <laughs> She'd be down for that. That'd be funny. But, like, it's uh, it's one of those things where, uh, like, uh, uh, Barbara's showing me these videos on TikTok. It's like, would you cheat on your significant other for $10 billion? You bet your sweet ass. <sighs> and Barbara and I are both in the same boat on that one. Oh, really? I believe each of us, as a married couple, would give the other one a pass for $10 billion. Just to have an affair. Yeah. Think about it. $10 billion, I can buy all the therapy I need. What about all the marriage counseling? <laughs> that doesn't cost $10 billion either. I'm telling you. And that's why, that like, because there's like... There's like things, it's like uh, everyone's, I guess uh, they've got like their list of like celebrities if they had a chance to like sleep with them. There was a, uh, I, oh, there was a, a um, Friends episode about it. Like who's on your list that you could cheat on your spouse or significant other with if it was a celebrity and the other one couldn't get mad at you because they were on your list. Yeah, like, yeah. Same kind of thing. So and Ross like, had like a laminated card. Yes. And yeah, then uh -huh. there was one actress that did show up mm -hmm. at the coffee, but then like. Uh, Ross had her name on his list, but then like took it off for someone else. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's funny. Same thing. Same thing. Ten billion dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Our great grandkids would never have to work. How did you win, win your money? Oh, my great grandpa like got paid this much to cheat on my my great grandma. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Your sounds like your grandpa's a bastard. <laughs> Let's sure. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's, I'm gonna, let's I'm go. Let's pull go. The interest rate for ten billion dollars in the bank. Okay. Well, while I'm, you're doing this. I'm okay. Let's go. Let's up. go. 